Not bad. My rope got a little tangled. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out here in Palaka, Florida right now. We have Ian on the wheel over there and he's helping us throw the net. And we're out here shrimping. I'm with Blue Gabe. He asked me last night saying, hey, let's go drive three hours and go shrimping. So here I am, just threw the net in the water. We've been doing some uh, practice throws because I haven't thrown a net in a while. But um, Blue Gabe taught me a new way to throw it and it's a lot easier than how I was throwing it. So we're going to see if I pulled up some shrimp in this throw. Oh, I got some. I see one, two, one. three. What do you have there? Look at this. Hey, what, is that? what is that? That's a shad. No, it's not a shad. Yes, it is. It's a big gizzard shad. What? Wait. And you got a flounder. Wait, that's the biggest shad I've ever seen. Oh my I gosh. I think you got to cook him on the grill. Do you want to? Let's do it. Catch and cook shad with shrimp. Oh man. So after this, we're gonna go to the spring, hopefully do a little bit of snorkeling. And we're gonna do some catch and cooks with these shrimp. I have a recipe, Gabe has a recipe, and it looks like we're about to cook this shad too. You pointed at the wrong Gabe though. I didn't point anywhere. <laughs> Leave me alone. I talk with my hands. <laughs> Look at this though. Oh my god. Ooh, he's slimy. Uh-uh, not in my bucket. <laughs> he was going right for the bucket. All right, check this out. Oh my God, look at the whiskers on this one. They're like eight, 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 eight feet. They're like eight inches long. This is my first time ever actually targeting and going after a shrimp. This is super cool. Oh, you can see their butt vein in there. Ugh. My lens is a little dirty. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I, I gotta hey. throw some dirt down on little Kelly Young. So she asked me last night on the way up, she goes, hey, how do you devein a shrimp? And I'm like, well, you got to split them down the middle. She's like, but wait, how do they devein them in like a shrimp cocktail? I said, they don't. You're eating shrimp poop. I guess so. It's delicious. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Is this a little flounder or a type of flounder? That's a hog choker flounder, I believe. A hog choker flounder. And yeah, look at it. Look at him suction cupping to the side of the boat. He's taking the slow road down. <laughs> it's like a palaka remora. <laughs> 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 They're hard to grab. Yeah, yeah they, they suction, are. Do they go on the side of the tank and everything? Look at his little eyes. How cute. Goodbye, little guy. Look at this. You want to talk about devein and shrimp? That's your secret weapon right there. Is it? It'll peel them and devein them at the same time. <laughs> I'll show you guys that later. These are like two bucks at the seafood market. Oh, that looks very interesting. Look at all of our shrimp so far. And we just getting started. I found. Ah! Yo, Look, it's a crab. Ah, it pinched me. <laughs> Look at him. All right, so like I said earlier, all the shrimp are on the bottom. So when you go to pull it in, you want to do kind of like a little jerking motion. If you ever held a shrimp, a live shrimp, or even a lobster, they like to kick back when they get spooked. So you want to spook them back up into the net, like so. Am I doing it right, Gabe? Yeah. All right. Now I can just pull it up normal. Hopefully I spook some shrimp up into the net. Find out. No falling in. Yeah, look at all of them. I think that's our best pull yet. Oh my god, this is so much fun. <laughs> I didn't think shrimping would be this fun. All right. Did you think I was gonna take you on a boring adventure? No. Look at all of them. Oh. I can tell you nothing's boring with Ian. <laughs> look, look at all of them. And there's still more in the net. All right, we're gonna be eating some good shrimp tonight. Let's put them in the bucket. Look at them all. These are some good sized shrimps too. Ah! Don't you get away, buddy. He almost escaped. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Are you keeping count? Because uh, the loser has to wash the boat. Um, so I'm definitely going to catch more than you, so... And don't act like Jay I don't even, can I don't even got a count. I don't even got a count. Because I know I'm going to catch more. Oh, I hear another one flopping under me. Huh. Hey, you got one more. I got one more. That's mine, though. I left that on the deck earlier. What do you got? 
pile of shrimp. Hey, I don't even get Ian, time wait, to wait, wait. Ian, you gotta catch me another shad. He threw my <laughs> shad overboard. <laughs> You don't throw fish in the water when you're with YouTubers. They might want to take a video of it. There we go. So I wouldn't do a catch and cook on that shad, but that's all right. He threw it back in the water. Um, we'll try to catch another one. If we do, we'll cook it. You got more shrimp in your net. Oh, man. Yeah, I've, I'm already winning, Gabe. Because I'm over here holding the camera. Hey, I held the camera for you. It's not my fault you couldn't get a net full of shrimp. My net's currently full of shrimp, but I'm up here. Where did the shrimp go? He's in the net still. Go. All right, it's your turn. See if you can beat it. Check out this crab that Ian just pulled in from the shrimp net. Gabe, put them, put them on your ear. Wait, hold on. Pinch it. Apparently he doesn't want to pinch your he ear. He doesn't want to bite somebody as sweet as me. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cool. Just kidding. Goodbye. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to throw this cast net. Gabe just taught me probably about 10 minutes ago. And so you load up your rope like so, stretch it out, and you're gonna grab about right here, a little below the middle of the net with the hand that you loaded all your rope into. You're going to take the end of the rope right here, that's closest to your body, and put it in your mouth like this. And then a quick one, two, three, four, five, probably about half the net. You're going to grip your hand like here. And grip that net here with your pointer finger facing down and your thumb here. Sorry. <laughs> talking with a rope in my mouth and you're gonna grip that rope with those two fingers <laughs> like so all right let me throw it and then I'll explain the rest <laughs> so when you spin you're gonna spin to get the momentum of the net stop but keep your upper body and your arms still rotating and you're gonna use your upper body to throw it out with the weight and take my, it would be my right hand, and spin it under to the left, clockwise. Then you can throw a cast net. So shout out to Blue Gabe for teaching me that way. And number one rule when using a cast net, let it sink. Don't throw it and then pull it back in because you want to be able to let it capture everything that's under the net until it hits the bottom. It just hit the bottom. It's under the boat. I'm going to go ahead and walk around the boat. You guys have a trolling motor that is extended into the water make sure you don't get wrapped around that because that isn't fun you got quite you got quite the mess to clean up it's a good thing i get you to help me mm. 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 i'm gonna make a collage of all your mm's in a video for your birthday next year i will tell all y'all all you kelly young fans she is the king of jacking with you but she told me today she must really like you as a friend if she's jacking with you. So she must just love me because it's constant. Mmm. Alright, alright, alright. Moment of truth. Ooh, Ooh we got a some bunch shrimps. Of them. Oh, and a crab. Ooh, this is a nice pool. Beautiful. Beautiful pool. Let's see here. Go ahead and open the net. I'm glad I didn't step on that. Yeah. I flipped it up there for you guys. Great. I've seen, ah! seen a YouTube moment. Uh oh, I got uh, something flipping. You got something in there? I got things flipping. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's a little channel cat or something. It's cute. Let's see what you got. But do you have shrimp?
Look at this. Yeah. I have a feeling that deer meat for dinner is going to smell that we're cooking shrimp and show up at my house later. What? Are these little dudes. Oh. One of my favorite things in the world to eat is Sharpie catfish just like that. And in Florida we have no size limit so we can keep them. What kind of catfish are they? I don't know what kind they are but we call that size of a catfish here in South Florida called Sharpies. Sharpies? Like if you go into a restaurant and you order Sharpie catfish, it'll be that size. You want to eat them? Shish kebab. I don't have any way to fry them. If we caught 20 or 30, I would definitely be keeping them. Yeah, buddy. If I get ate by a bull shark because you're taking forever, I'm going to be so mad. You think there's bull sharks up here? Yeah. I'd be more scared of the huge gators that are right here. Yeah, so you just give me. Like gigantic. You swam with a 12 foot alligator in your last video. You'll be alright. What I do for my helper. Thank you so much for that camera angle, Blue Gator. Don't mind me. Ian just said I wouldn't be worried about sharks. I'd be worried about giant gators. <laughs> hey, like we always say, do it for the YouTube. YouTube. Do it for the YouTube. We poured all the shrimp in this nice white cooler, and we're gonna go ahead and take some pictures for the gram. You already know. Got it. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. All right, so we're gonna go ahead load up and we're gonna go ahead to the springs check it out i've never been to this spring before super excited the water's gonna be cold but i think i'm gonna get in and do a little snorkeling yeah, sesh if it boat. looks nice <laughs> um, then we're gonna do our catch and cook there i'm gonna go ahead and make some shrimp ceviche and honestly apparently according to blue gabe that shrimp ceviche is way more popular than fish ceviche i'm a fish ceviche girl so this will be my first time actually eating shrimp ceviche so super interested and I can't wait to try it. See you guys at the springs. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Look how crystal clear the water is. Beautiful crystal clear. Actually, the water doesn't feel that cold. It's definitely doable. Usually I like to come to springs when it's like 68 degrees outside. That way the 72, 74 degree spring water feels like a bathtub. Um, however, it's scorching hot out here today. We've been out here throwing cast nets, shrimping all morning, all afternoon. And um, now we're gonna hop in, cool off, snorkel around, uh, hopefully see some uh, fish. And uh, then we're gonna cook up some shrimp.
thing I've ever seen in the water. All right, so we just got done snorkeling over there in this beautiful crystal clear blue water full of sunshine bass, mullet, and it was just an incredible experience. Right now, I am going ahead and cleaning some of these shrimp that we caught earlier. And I just did, this is my first one I did here. Ian went ahead and showed me the ropes, how to do it with this cool little tool here. And you just thread it through the back and pop the shell off like so. And then their booty vein comes out too with it, so. Their what they're vein? Their booty vein. Their booty vein. But so, what if they're shrimp cocktail? Then what happens? Apparently, you eat the booty vein. <laughs> All right, so let's try to let's try to do that again. I probably won't do it as perfect now that I'm recording, but. <clears throat> All right, so first you pop the head off. All right, get rid of that, and then you're gonna take the tip of this instrument here, poke it there, and you're gonna thread it through the top of the back of the shrimp staying just under the shell right where that vein runs and it gets a little tricky here and then you're gonna pinch grip that meat and rip the shell off come on there we go eh. gets a little tricky all right and then the shell comes right off this one wasn't as beautiful as the first one I did, but as you can see here, it still peels right off. And then you have your scrimp. All right, so I'm gonna clean a lot more of these. It's gonna be a little time consuming, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some of my fruits and vegetables, and we're gonna make shrimp ceviche. So I went ahead and took some of our shrimp and just cut them into halves. We clean them, devein them, and the number one thing when it comes to ceviche is you take your limes and you want to soak your fish or your shrimp in lime juice. And the lime juice is so acidic it's going to somewhat cook the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a bunch of lime juice in here. I also have a lemon as well. And I'll just catch all the lemon seeds when I do this. I like experimenting with my ceviche. I like adding different things. So this ceviche, I'm actually gonna add orange to it. So I'm gonna have lemon, lime, and orange. Oh, orange is, oh, the orange is juicy. Ooh, that orange smells good, I wanna eat that. I was about to say, can you hand that over here? <laughs> I know, it smells awesome. A couple more limes. Unfortunately, these limes, like, man, I got these from Publix and they're just not that juicy. So I'm gonna have to put a few limes in here. Alright, so I'm gonna let that sit probably for like about 10 minutes or so, let it cook, and then I'm gonna add all the other ingredients. Alright, so our juices have been soaking in the shrimp and the shrimp are cooking. As you can see, they're like a white and orangey color now, just like cooked shrimp look. So we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients. Um, since we're out in the boat making a video, you know, I don't have too much time to chop up a bunch of stuff. We're out of town as well. I went ahead and bought pre-chopped items. We got some red onion here. Red onion is my favorite. We're gonna sprinkle some red onion in there. Sorry about that much. We have some peppers. Why is it so hard? <laughs> My hands are slippery from the onions and all the juices. Ah, there we go. Got it. Some peppers. And we got a little tomato mixture here. Let's see if I can open this one. There we go. That one opened a lot easier. Some tomatoes. We got some cucumber I pre-cut over here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And then my favorite is crushed pineapple. I love pineapple and ceviche. It gives it a nice sweet flavor. If I can open it. My nails are long and I hate opening cans with long nails. Go ahead and drain some of this juice out though. We got some crushed pineapple. Stick a finger in there. We're out here. 
Yum. Smells so good. And last but not least, we have some avocado. And ceviche is so wonderful because you can literally do whatever you want in ceviche. You know, you can make it your own. All my ceviches are different. Every single one of them. I always try new things, new ingredients. Like this one I put orange in. Never put orange in ceviche before. But I figured doing something different with shrimp, which I always make ceviche with fish, do a little different. Got some avocado. Oh, this looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. We've been casting nets, shrimping all day. We just swam in a freezing cold spring. Now I gotta mix this somehow. Your cameraman's still standing in the freezing cold spring. Thank you. Wait, where is the shish kebab stick at? Over here. I said over there. That's gonna be my stir. Ew. Every kid out. Didn't you buy spins? I did, but they're deep in the bag somewhere. Mm, mm, mm. This would probably be better, but this is actually working, just like using chopsticks. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. You gonna add any salt and pepper or anything? I don't think so. I don't really add seasonings. I wasn't saying that for the camera, I was just asking. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really add seasonings to my ceviche. I just like the raw ingredients. I personally think ceviche is the best the next day after it's been marinating in the fridge overnight. But we're gonna give this a try right now. And ceviche tip, these are the best chips for ceviche. Organic and they're lime flavored so you get that little extra lime kick in your ceviche. You wanna be the first to try again? Yeah, I'm starving to death and cold. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but somehow I got put on a diet. So my food consumption has been way down low lately. This is healthy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I get first and second bite. What? Okay, fine. I really like the Got it. <laughs> I like the pineapple. Yes, I love the pineapple. Can you taste the orange? Yeah. Yum. Jump in, Ian. Uh, about this. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Yummy. Right. Man, that's good. I'll stay up here and eat that. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy our ceviche here. I'm gonna go help Gabe film the rest of his video. He's doing like, I don't know, some kind of stew or something with a, a pot cooker, I don't know. But he's got his grill belly over there. So I'm gonna go over there, but thanks so much guys for watching this video. Thank you for Blue Gabe. Come here, come here, look right out here, here. Kelly, look right what? here. Look under the boat. Let what me see it? the camera. What is it? It's a oh, little oh, it's a turtle. Here he comes. Oh my Sorry goodness. for interrupting. Hey, we gotta redo it real quick. <laughs> no, that was that was a good I interruption. Like my, I didn't like my bike. <laughs> you guys, this ceviche is really, really, really good. And the cool thing about this, no matter where you live, any kind of fruits and vegetables that's in season where you live at the time is what you make ceviche with. Mm. Well, I don't know where I was, but Shout out to Blue Gabe and Ian for taking me on this awesome adventure. It was just an incredible day. We went shripping, shripping. We went shripping. We went shripping. Oh my Did God. Did say shripping? It's shripping. We went, went shrimping. She went stripping. <laughs> we went scrimping. We went shrimping in some murky water. And then now we're in this clear, beautiful water at the spring here, dove with huge schools of sunshine bass. Like it was just such an incredible day here. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next adventure.
So bad. Kelly's the biggest dog lover in the world, and there's this cute little dog. He just stuck his nose up to Kelly and he's like, peace out. Yeah, apparently he doesn't want to I think I'd make it a cooking show or something? Yeah. yeah.